and it will flash green on top. You'll know you're on if it's green. Okay. I was glad it wasn't on when I was in the restroom. <laughs> oh, for sure. That would be very embarrassing. I, I looked down and I was like, oh, I told her I would wear this in here. It's not doing anything. Let me try it again. Let's see. Okay, let go. Let me see here. Sometimes they are. Maybe it needs charge. Let me try. No, this one looks like it doesn't have any juice at all. Let me swap it out for you real quick. Dina, I'll be right back. Ruth, I'm going to swap you. This is totally uh, no juice. It's like not doing anything. Isn't that weird? Okay. I think that's the one we used last time and it wasn't even, it wasn't flashing orange, which usually gives me a warning that it's starting to die. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, Dina, take two. Let's try this one. Excellent, that one's working. Okay, you're in business. All right, well, as we were beginning to say, we are going to be shopping for some laundry products in a minute. Before we do that, I do want to let you know our um, audio taped and video taped. That's why we turn microphones on. That's for internal use only. It is viewed from another room today and Friday where other researchers can pop in and out and see what consumers think about their ideas. Um, no wrong answers. This is all about your opinion. So be, be uh, very forthcoming with what I know, what you think. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about your laundry. Do you do the laundry for yourself and any anyone else, or just mm -hmm. yourself? Uh, my whole family. I have two kids and a husband and myself at home. How old are your children? Nine and ten. Nine and mm -hmm. ten. Okay. And my son has autism uh -huh. and um, the severe kind, and he gets stuff all over him all the time. And right now he's licking himself mm -hmm. on his clothes, so whatever colored drink or food he mm -hmm. has, mm -hmm. he gets it on his shirt. <laughs> oh, okay. And is that your 9 or 10-year-old? That's my 9-year-old. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that's a lot. I'm sorry to hear mm -hmm. that. I know that's uh, challenging. Well, it's a big part of my laundry. <laughs> I have no <laughs> doubt. What about for you? What is your routine? Do you use pre-treaters and softeners, the whole gamut? Uh -huh. Tell me about. I use Oxy spray. Mm -hmm. I pre-treat. Okay. I wear everything out mm -hmm. and look at it okay. and I flip it over and I pull the sleeves over like this and I look at one side and I flip and look at the other side and I just hose anything down. Um, I also have a little spherical container with oxygen balls in it that okay. I keep mm -hmm. in my washer to help boost whatever mm -hmm. I'm using. Okay. Then usually I, after I spray everything I have a front loader and it's digital and I set it for delay of at least an hour to mm -hmm. let the pre-treaters work. Oh, okay. Um, Do you use liquid or powder detergent? Liquid. How about softeners? Are you a fabric softener user? Um, I use it in 50% of the mm -hmm. loads and liquid? that's a liquid, yes. How about sheets? Do you use those? No, never. Okay. So let's do this. Where do you prefer to shop for fabric products most often? Um, like um, Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or the green section of Kroger. Mm -hmm. Where I also go to the Guyam Warehouse sale that Guyam is up here. Mm -hmm. And I buy their seventh generation products there. And then also, when I don't use the fabric softener, mm -hmm. I use drops of essential oils out of just bottles of oils like lavender. I have um, citronella. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh -huh. Hey, Ruth, do you know we have Dina and Deanna? Just because you might see that Deanna is coming at 11. I just realized they're the same. Were you 11.30? Oh, yeah, I was at 11.30. Well, no, I'm just wondering, she's 11.30. We have a Deanna at 11, and we have Dina, but I don't think Deanna's here. So we'll do ours, and we'll finish early, and then we'll take the floater. If, if <laughs> when you go back in before we head out, just make sure Deanna's not here, that we're not... Your names are so similar, right? but this will be fine. We'll get you out early. We can we take okay. the floater if, um, unfortunately, if Deanna is unable to get here. We mm -hmm. called her, but we had no answer, so oh. let's, we'll they see what happens. answer with me as well. So. Okay, well, I'm glad you're here and you were early. So um, 
So you go to Trader Joe Kroger or the green section of Kroger or mm -hmm. even Whole Foods? Yes. Does that have to do with your autistic child as far as trying to use products that have not have as many? Is yes. there a reason? But I, I started switching to those products before I found out he okay. had autism. Okay. And then once I found out he had autism, I was glad and I just stayed the same course of like no extra chemicals, fragrances, or dyes or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I try to simplify and not have a lot of extra things because he also has asthma. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't like to introduce a lot of um, fragrances mm -hmm. or different chemicals. Um, Do you uh, use anything other than seventh generation? I have used Melaleuca's laundry detergent. It's like a at-home company, mm -hmm. at-home business oh, company. It's called Melaleuca. Um, I've never heard of that. I can't remember what their detergent is called. Okay. And then also I have used um, Earth something. Earth. Good. Earth good. I don't know. It's got a, like an orange on it. Oh, <laughs> it goes okay. goes like this. Okay. But I can't remember what it's called. Oh. Earthwise, I don't remember. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure it's, we're good, and then we'll go shop. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, as soon as you walked away, I remember I'm using um, a liquid Oxy also. It's okay. in a blue container as detergent. Okay. All right. Um, We're just going to get around. I'm going to ask us a couple questions. We can take this okay. with us. So pretty much it sounds like you have a small uh, a specific criteria of what fits for you and your family with regards to detergents and things. And do you ever use products such as Freeze here? Oh, yes, the, I have. Okay, mm -hmm. We're going to go We're gonna go to another room here. I'm going to just get your reaction, if I could, to this product on the shelf here. And tell me what your thoughts are, what you would think about it. Make sure they're in this area. They might not have one on the shelf. Okay, here we go. Actually, we have to go around to the other side. Uh, oh, I think I have used that free and gentle too, the Tide. Okay. The one I had a coupon one time. What's your thoughts about this kind of? And uh, pros or cons? The 
con I would say is I like to recycle my plastic jug mm -hmm. of the liquid. Um, More this one, because oh, I don't think one. this is the, the free of dyes and perfumes. Is this something that would even mm -hmm. fit in remotely into your family dynamics or your... Mm -hmm. I would, oh goodness. This is just mocked up for research. Yeah, what goes through your mind when you said that? Oh my goodness. Well, um, well there's not very many in here, but I would consider it definitely, but I don't, I guess I would throw that in with the clothes, because right now I have this little drawer thing that pulls mm -hmm. out and then I pour stuff in. And that looks like it has stain removers and fabric softener in it too. But I'm wondering why it looks mainly white with the two little different colors of suns. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind about it? That blue kind of scares me, like it's going to get on my white clothes mm -hmm. and get on them because it kind of looks like ink. Um, but then again, it kind of looks like a um, color neutralizer you would use to brighten things that are mm -hmm. dingy. Mm -hmm. So I have mixed feelings about the blue, the pink. Just I think... It looks like fabric softener. Mm -hmm. or maybe it's fragrance. What about when, not just looking at the product itself, mm -hmm. but the information on the front? I know okay. that you have some very specific criteria for your family. Mm -hmm. How would this fit in, if at all, to your water routine? Hmm. I would still use the spray pre-treat because I would be afraid that it would, that the little packet would miss where our stains were on our clothes. Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely try it. So when you were talking out front, I was in the impression that you're real needing like organic type things. Mm -hmm. I look for that. Is, it, is that your impression here? Um, not so much since it looks more like chemicals in different pouches. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, sometimes if my load is not very dirty, mm -hmm. I won't I have a pump on my um, liquid jug. I won't mm -hmm. squirt as much in. And that one doesn't let me control how much I use or don't use. Mm -hmm. um, but I would, I mean, I would, hmm. Free of dyes and perfumes. Um, I also look for things that are like, biodegradable and good for, you know, mm -hmm. the fish downstream and things. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what that packet is made of. No, obviously, probably it's going to just disappear and disintegrate in the water, and I'm not going to find it in a pocket mm -hmm. somewhere. <laughs> You're right. That's, that's, yep. Okay. Okay. So I wonder if that's made of gelatin or mm -hmm. something because, well, I can't see the ingredients, so I don't guess you can see the ingredients on any detergent. We can see what they say it doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Well, these are also <laughs> mocked up for research, so they might have more information if you were mm -hmm. to, you would be looking for that, that's something you'd mm -hmm. be looking for. Mm -hmm. okay. What the plastic um, pouch is made of. Wonderful. And also, it's kind of concerning to me that it looks like candy. Mm -hmm. and that little kids might try to eat it. And my son has a problem with eating everything. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it looks like fun. It looks like a lot of fun with the moons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would, those in those jugs, it looks like eyeballs. It looks some, like some sort of something on the shelf in a scientist lab. Mm -hmm. But I would be um, concerned that it was in some sort of childproof container, definitely beyond a Ziploc bag. Um, All right, that does it. We'll walk you out. Okay. Okay, thank you. You can turn your microphone off, same way you turned it off. Okay.
That'll turn your microphone on. It should turn green. Okay. I have to see your purse. That's adorable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My purse is beautiful. Thanks. Thanks. You've got... three... Yeah. How old are they? Lee's 10, Annalise 8, and Jadie is 5. Oh my, I love that name, Annalise. We consider that uh, for our youngest, who's Audrey. Oh, okay. Do you do people say Annalise ever or Annalise? Oh yeah, they yeah. It? Oh, oh but, yeah. I, I don't mind. I mean, she doesn't care. She likes it actually. So oh, it's a beautiful name. Yeah. Borrow on your cart for a minute. Okay. So you're doing the lot of laundry. It sounds like if you got three children. Oh yeah. Oh man, I know this doing it right now. Right now. <laughs> That's the beauty of our generation. At least it's doing it while we're not sitting there doing it, right? Even though we're not supposed to, they tell us, you know, the oh, house is going to catch fire. I didn't fire. know that. I oh, yeah, that, that, that report was on, like, two weeks ago, and every time oh. I turn it on now, I'm like, okay. Really? Just the okay. dryer? Oh, no, the washer and the dryer, they're like, you know, never, oh, dishwasher, never leave any appliances on when you leave. So now, for the last two weeks, I'm paranoid. I bet you. You know, if, if they're new, what, 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 yeah. if something's going to go wrong every day, if that's what it is, you know. <laughs> All right, so in your laundry routine, are you a stain fighter, pre-treater, fabric softener, detergent? What, what kinds of things do you use? Um, Not I necessarily use, brands, whatever. Just okay. You can um, tell what you want. Well, I was going to say, I use Shout, so mm -hmm. I guess that's okay. well. Sure. Pre, is that yep. pre -treated? Pre -treated. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And um, I honestly have not used OxyClean for quite mm -hmm. some time, but I finally just bought it again. Oh, okay. I just, just, I mean, literally, like, today I've done two loads and I've put OxyClean in. Okay. So, um, and then I use um, deter liquid detergent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I use bleach mm -hmm. on my whites. Okay. And um, I'm currently using dryer sheets because mm -hmm. I'm out of the liquid. Do you therapy. go back and forth or do you, yeah, use, do you I use, do. use both? Um, no, I usually don't use both. Okay. So it's one or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to know. And where do you prefer to shop to buy laundry care products most often? Um, I think um, my detergent and fabric softeners I mostly buy at Sam's. Oh, okay. Um, but my all my other stuff, my extras and stuff, I use, I buy at the grocery store. Okay. Like, which one? Um, which grocery store? Which Do you go to one more often than the other? Uh, I go to Kroger, I guess, more often than Meyer. Okay. Kroger, we'll say it's Kroger. All okay. right. So let's walk and talk. I'll grab this out of the way. You're going to take the cart. Okay. We're going to go shopping, Michelle. Right. What I'm going to have you do is imagine you've come to Kroger today. Let's okay. say it's Kroger. Okay. And we're going to go to another room, so we'll move in this direction. Okay. You're going to be, imagine you're completely out. Which probably going to happen. Okay. But for today's exercise, oh, I'm going to imagine you're all out of product. And you've come today with your own money, just as if I'm not even with you. I'm okay. just going to lead you here. To shop for laundry care products. Okay. You'll just shop and put whatever in your cart you'd like to buy today, and then we're going to talk about what you thought of the shopping experience. We're going to okay. start here, and then that's first out. You just let me know when so you're I'm done. So completely out of everything. You're out. You're I out. don't have anything. Exactly. Okay. And people always say, should I get what I normally get? I always say it's up to you. If you're really at Kroger, well, it would okay. be up to you, right? Right. Whatever. Okay. For your boat. Got it. As long as it's not like ten bottles of something, that be realistic. Okay. Right. 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 Okay. And you just, I'll just wait for you and take your time. Let okay. me know when you're done. All right. You've made your choices, and we'll discuss what you thought. Okay. All right. Now, I don't usually do this. <laughs> I always hold my purse, but I'm assuming no one's going to steal my purse. I will be your wife. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the older gals are always yelling at me at the store. Honey, you shouldn't get your purse in. I don't ever do that. I so you're good. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not as good as you. I kind of am guilty. But I'll be your watch woman shop. Come up to, I used to shop at Biggs years ago. Yeah. The, the one that oh, closed down by us um, in, in Coleraine. But I remember this woman came up to me, and um, I had my purse, and, and she was just like, I was here, like, I don't even know, it was like a couple months ago, it was during Christmas time, and she had her um, purse in her cart, and it got stolen. So she's coming nice. up to people, telling people, oh, like, don't oh, it. Right. Then I hold it now. You know, well, then she had a big impact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's good. It's stuck with you. Okay. And that's not a bad message, really. <laughs> Is this the only aisle that I'm Just this aisle okay. for now. You got okay. it. Mm -hmm. All right.
Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. So you got today some Zout. Also, you got Snuggle and Tide. Is anything new for you today? Totally new? No. Bounce? Um, shout? Did I get everything? Wool light. Oh, and I didn't see your little wool light there. I really made you stock up, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six items, and we got six in the cart, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I missed something. What did I get? Snuggle. Oh, OxyClean. Oh, I got it. I didn't count. Can't okay. count. Okay, okay good. <laughs> Nothing brand new for you today. No. All right. How easy or difficult was it for you in the South to find what you're looking for? I would say it was quite easy. Quite easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are going to shop again. Okay. I'm making I'm making you work hard for okay. that incentive okay. money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Reason being, we will talk about the style in a minute. But I want to just give you a chance to have a quick set. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and um, get a lot of thoughts about what you did. But I'm going to borrow the cart to take the cleaner or the fabric softeners down here.